In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the derivative of inverse hyperbolic functions. So let's go over some formulas that you need to know. You may want to write these down. The derivative of the inverse hyperbolic sine function of the variable u, where u is a function of x, it's equal to u prime over the square root of u squared plus 1. Next, we have the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic cosine function of u. And this is equal to u prime over the square root of u squared minus 1 as opposed to plus 1. Now, moving on to tangent, the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic tangent function of u it's going to be u prime over 1 minus u squared. There's no square root for that. Now, the derivative for the inverse hyperbolic cosecant function of the variable u is going to be negative u prime over the absolute value of u times the square root of 1 plus u squared. Now for secant, it's going to be very similar, negative u prime over u times the square root of 1 minus u squared. So for some reason, it doesn't have the absolute value here, as in the case of inverse hyperbolic cosecant. And then we have one more. The derivative of the inverse hyperbolic cotangent function of u is equal to u prime over 1 minus u squared, which is exactly the same as the inverse hyperbolic tangent function of u. Now, let's work on some practice problems. Go ahead and find the derivative of this function, of the inverse hyperbolic sine function of 4x. Feel free to work on that problem. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to write the formula. The answer is going to be u prime over the square root of u squared plus 1. Now the variable u is whatever we see inside of the inverse function. So in this case, that's going to be 4x. u prime is the derivative of 4x, which is 4. So all we got to do is plug that into that formula, and it's going to give us the answer. So it's 4 over the square root 4x squared plus 1. 4x squared, that's 4x times 4x, which is 16x squared plus 1, and that's it. Let's try another example. So let's find the derivative of hyperbolic cosine, the inverse hyperbolic cosine function of x cubed. So using the formula, it's u prime over the square root of u squared minus 1. So in this problem, u is equal to x cubed u prime, the derivative of x cubed, is 3x squared. So this is going to equal, let's plug it into that formula. So it's 3x squared divided by the square root of u squared, which is x cubed squared minus 1. So that's going to be 3x squared over the square root of 3 times 2 is 6, so we get x to the 6 minus 1. So that's it for that particular problem. Now let's move on to our next example. Let's find the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic tangent function of the square root of x. So for hyperbolic tangent, 
the formula is u prime over 1 minus u squared. So u is equal to the square root of x, which is, if you rewrite it, it's x to the 1 half. u prime is going to be, using the power rule, it's going to be 1 half x. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. If we rewrite it, it's 1 over 2 square root x. So plugging all that into this formula, we're going to get u prime, which is 1 over 2 square root x, all divided by 1 minus u squared. So 1 minus u is the square root of x, and then we're going to square it. So this simplifies to 1 over 2 square root x over 1 minus the square root of x squared is simply x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 2 square root x. So these will cancel, giving us our final answer, which is 1 over 2 square root x times 1 minus x. So that is the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic tangent function of the square root of x. Now let's try another example. Go ahead and find the derivative with respect to x of the inverse hyperbolic cosecant function of x, but it's going to be raised to the third power. Go ahead and try that. So for this one, we need to use the chain rule. We need to differentiate this as if it's x cubed or y cubed. So we're going to work on the outside part. This is going to be 3, and then we're going to keep everything on the inside the same. And then the exponent, we're going to subtract it by 1. Much as if you differentiate x cubed, you get, let me say that again, if you differentiate x cubed, you get 3x squared. But now we need to differentiate the inside part, cosecant. The formula for that, where did I put that paper? So here's the formula for the inverse hyperbolic cosecant function. It's negative u prime over absolute value of u times the square root of 1 plus u squared. In this case, u is equal to x. u prime is going to be just 1. So it's going to be times negative u prime, or negative 1, over the absolute value of x times the square root of 1 plus x squared. So putting it all together, we can multiply 3 and negative 1. So it's going to be negative 3 times what we have here. inverse hyperbolic cosecant of x and that's going to be raised to the second power all divided by the absolute value of x times the square root of 1 plus x squared. So that is the final answer. Now let's work on one more problem. Let's say we have this equation. y is equal to 6 times the inverse hyperbolic sine of 3x and then plus, actually, let's make this 6x and then minus 2 square root 1 plus 9x squared. Go ahead and find the derivative of that expression. So what we have here for this part is a product rule problem. The derivative of fg is going to be the derivative of the first part times the second plus the first part times the derivative of the second part. So we're going to apply that for this portion. So the derivative of the first part, 6x, is just 6. We're going to keep the second part the same.
And then we'll keep the first part the same, which is 6x. Now we're going to differentiate the second part. So to do that, we need to know the formula for the derivative of inverse sine. And we know it to be u prime over the square root of u squared plus 1. So in this example, u is 3x, u prime is 3. So this is going to be times 3 over the square root of u squared, which is 3x squared, and then plus 1. Now we need to differentiate this expression. So it might be good to rewrite it first. We could take away the square root symbol and replace it with a 1 half exponent. So using the power rule, we're going to move this to the front. It's going to be negative 2 times a half. We'll keep the inside part the same. Subtract this by 1. And then multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 1 is 0, but for 9x squared, that's going to be 18x. The 2 and the 1 half will cancel. So this is going to be minus 18x on top. Now, because we have a negative exponent, this expression is going to go on the bottom of the fraction. Now, positive 1 half was a square root on, on the numerator. Negative 1 half will be a square root in the denominator. So this is going to be the square root of 1 plus 9x squared. So now let's simplify what we have. So here we have 6 times the inverse hyperbolic of sine of 3x. 6x times 3, that's positive 18x. 3x squared is 9x squared. We can rewrite it as 1 plus 9x squared. And we can just rewrite this. So these two are opposites to each other. If you add them, you get 0. Therefore, the final answer is 6 inverse hyperbolic sine of 3x. So that's it for this lesson. Now you know how to find the derivative of inverse hyperbolic functions.